Yo, Dan Larson here. This week I want to show you something really funny. But first let me tell you the story. No, let me first just show you what we will do this week and next week. So this is the sound what I did. But the background story is a lot more interesting than this. <coughs> I have a very cool friend who works in a metal fabric. I don't know which kind of factory or stuff. And... He sent me a very, very cool video where, where he, you know, uh, used a driller and tried to drill a, a hole into a metallic pole or something. Anyway, let me show you the video. It's really funny. So he sent me this. Okay, so after laughing hysterically for about three hours, I said that this is awesome. I never heard anything like this before, but we should, you know, uh, clean up the sound because this is, I think, unusable. So he sent me this. How awesome is this? He basically just put his phone under the bow. Um, so I decided to play with it a little and I got this piece from the whole sound. And I tried to drop it into Serum. Let me show you how I made it because um, there are several ways to import this and basically none of them worked really well. So. I took this uh, driller yo 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 and let me show you I tried the first one Okay this is awful I said it's it's useless I cannot use this let me show you the normal type still not good let's try the last one No so, okay so let me try these FFTs and they give me pretty much, well, pretty interesting results. But it's still very chaotic. It's a lot better. But this FFT124 sounded fine to me. So I, I left it as it is now. But it's still very cha chaotic. So what I decided to do was first you know morph spectral morph and try to x fade the edges to make it a lot smoother it's a lot better but there are still low frequencies which mess up the sound so i have a formula which well i figured out but steve was kind enough to help me in this which kills the third harmonics as you can see in every wave table it kills the third harmonics so I went further and I said, why not kill the first one on every, in every uh, cycle? And why not kill the second one too? So we have no harmonics on the first, the second and the third bars. So let's morph again. I exfaded the edges again, and now a lot smoother is it's still not very good, but it's usable now. And because we have two yoi, we have two yoi words basically. I decided to you know cut it at the middle. From around this 173rd, 27. So remove from selected to the end. And it autom automatically adds some morph tables. So we are cool. So it's not very clean. But I think the result is fine now. So this is how I imported this ugly sound into Serum. But it's really cool. Uh, and here is the sound what I made.
which is, I think, pretty cool. So I use this uh, LFO here to modulate the wave table and the battery jack filter. <coughs> this is all it what it does. <coughs> I use this portion of the sound, but you can go further and try to find different places. <coughs> I think this is the best. I, I use this asymmetric minor, but it doesn't give too much to it. It's just a little more evil. Eviler. So this is all here on the main page. Main page, of course, with the sub oscillator. And uh, I have this distortion guy here, which is pretty in, um, important because if I unclick it, then it turns out very weak. But this is all maximum mix and on the middle of the drive knob we have this hyper, very slight hypering. We have the phaser, which is basically I almost do. You know, I pull back the feed and the frequency and modulate the depth of the sound till I find a cool tone to the sound. <laughs> and used up LE41 to modulate the depth. And the EQ here is again a very important thing because I boosted up those the, that frequency what I want to, you know, make the articulation. And the first peak here is at around, I don't know, 65 hertz, it goes up to 200, 300 hertz. And that is exactly the sound what makes the sound a little growly and evil. <laughs> But, but there are some weird frequencies at around mm, 1000, 1500 Hz. So I decided to cut that uh, those frequencies using the second um, peak or or notch. Maybe this is a notch uh, on the, on the EQ. So without them, it can be cool. But I like it without it. Okay, so an OTT like always. And, well, I'm using this comp filter, but it doesn't do too much. I think I edited it because it gave some, some amplitude to the sound, but... But it's already peaking, so it's not really important. Um, okay, so we have LFO 2, which is basically just a pitch, pitch curve, you know. I add it to oscillator A, what is this course? Course pitch, yeah, so it's just, you know, bends the sound. It is a lot more interesting for growth. I paste it and you will hear the difference. It's a lot better, I think, with a slight amount of pitch bending. All right, and we have the third oscillator, which makes the sound, you know, that, that whoop whoop kind of articulation. And it's nothing else here than the level of oscillator A. Okay, and we have LFO 5. Which is, to be honest, I don't know what it does, what is the purpose of it. Because it doesn't do too much. I just want, I remember I just wanted to make the beam, 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 beam <laughs> wobbling sound a little more interesting. You know, just give some a little different character and I try to drop it onto, well, random knobs. For example, on the warping knob on oscillator A and filter stuff, cut off resonance width and let's see where else. I think, I think this is all. And on the filter too. Uh huh. <laughs> Yeah, that's it, that's it. But I think it is not important. Uh, it sounds great without that. I mean, without LFO 5. Because if I uh, bypass all the destinations, it's just fine. But 
as you as you think. It's really up, up to you because I share this stuff here too. And the next week we I will show you how I made this this sound. Because it is the same source. I mean it uses up this driller yo yo. We just, you know, with different editing, different synthesizing stuff. And and if you like my video, please drop a like, share it on Facebook and do whatever you can to, you know, to spread the word of Let's Synthesize. Thank you for watching my video, guys, and see you next time next week.